This is our 36 foot floating home sunshine. Join us as we go sailing. Good morning, everyone. It's getting on towards 7.30 in the morning here on the 10th of July, Monday morning, 2023. And that dirt out there is my yacht. We were a little bit further away than this last night, and the dark mist came and the moon doesn't rise now until after midnight. And while the entrance channel and such as that are supposed to be clearly marked with good voyage and range markers, I just thought, you know, maybe <clears throat> going in to a lagoon in an atoll and island group at night since I haven't been here in 15 years, not that I did a lot of exploring back then either, would be prudent to wait out a few hours outside here. So I just cranked over the wheel a bit and locked it off, turned off the autopilot, let the motor kick over slowly. The idea being we just go around in a big circle out there about 15 miles away. So pretty much that's what we did. I don't know if we ever made a full circle because conditions were through the night pretty much just like they are now. Fairly calm seas, although irregular large swells from different directions occasionally. Wind right now is blowing eight, yeah, about eight knots from the southeast or east to southeast. Beautiful day, uh, depending on which direction you want to go, could be a beautiful day for sailing. Anyway, we're heading over this way. That's the entrance through the reef, the circling reef uh, of my hut. It's a combination uh, island, lagoon, and reef, sort of like the uh, Society Islands, uh, Tahiti. Raiatea, Morea. Those islands are very similar to this. Interesting that the French control both of them. Anyway, we're just chug 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 along here, making about two and a half knots. I could go a lot faster, I guess. I could double the speed and get there in half the time, but I'm letting the sun get a little higher in the sky so we can see down in the water. Although, like I said, the deep water channel through the lagoon is pretty clearly marked. If there were any obstructing coral heads at any time in the past, I'm sure the French have uh, taken care of that many, many years ago. Uh, when I came in here before, it was easy to go in. Just stay between the channel markers, which are, it's well marked the channel. It looks like now they've added a whole bunch of moorings over by the Yacht Club. I'll have to confirm that firsthand when we get there, so we don't have to play the anchoring game and whatever it was, 15 or 20 meters of water before, I had to anchor outside of the mooring field because uh, there was no room to swing in the mooring field. But according to the chart, there's a bunch of moorings there now. I don't know if there's a bunch of people there. The latest satellite image I have shows that mooring field pretty much full of boats, but that could have been from years ago with the COVID nonsense. I imagine a fair number of people uh, got stuck or chose to stay stuck here during that unfortunate recent event in human history, or should I say human misery. Anyway, we're continuing our journey. It was quite eventful. 
trying to get down here. All the crap that happened. The spinnaker halyard still has not fully untangled itself. And wait till we get into the lagoon to finish straightening that out. The auxiliary rudder disappeared during the night one night. I went back and looked over the start again. I'll get pictures of it then. Uh, see that lower bracket, that big old piece of stainless steel just fractured. Just amazed me. I've been thinking a lot about that, the possibility of uh, replacing that with uh, bronze casting. Uh, certainly not going to do that here, but possibly in South Africa. Because uh, bronze will not fatigue like that and stress crack. Not in the same way, anyway. We'll see what happens. That's all in the future. Hi, sweetie. Sweetie's been snoozing off and on through the night as we gently roll about in the swell, but putting in circles. All excited to get into land? No, you want to stay out here for another week? No. <laughs> well. Can't really do that because we're running out of important things like Coke and Mountain Dew. We still got a fair amount of juice left. The bottled water is gone. The water filters, I realized I should have changed the elements, at least in the main one under the galley sink because I think it was tainting the water. What? Salty, a little bit salty. Oh, I know I'm salty, honey. I don't know why it would be a little bit salty. Salty because, you know, when the, flash, the water or the boat leaning the water, salt water flashes on the spray in that cabin uh -huh. out there on the thing, so the water... Possibly, yeah. And the... And the, the filler, not tight. Yeah. It should be, it should block no, it off. No, it, it's possible that the salt water comes in because not so fun. I told you to put a plastic it's got an o-ring under the lid to seal it off when it's tight properly however <clears throat> doesn't mean because the boat is certainly doing some serious healing and all that wind that we had uh, could have actually got the vent to uh, the vent outlet uh, below the water but uh, that comes inside the boat and as all bed loop should, it goes up about six inches and then turns back down towards the tank. But water <coughs> under force can do some strange things. Anyway, a little, little bit of salt is good for you. Not much, but a little bit, especially ocean salt. Natural sea salt has all kinds of goodies in it that your body likes. Ah, too, much salt now, eh? too much, huh? Makes your coffee taste weird? Probably. Okay, well, anyway, we'll get all the minor details like that straightened out once we get in. Even if we've got to dump all the water and refill the tanks, no biggie. I mean, it's also possible because we were taking a lot of water in through the forward hatch. My bad, because they didn't have it dogged down properly all the way. Uh, quite possible that some of that water found its way in through the top of the tank, the first water tank, where I had to cut access hatches to be able to access the inside of the, chat, the tank to fix the leaks that I found there. That's a possibility. Anyway, like I said, we'll figure all that good, happy stuff out here over the next week or so. Anyway, bye for now.